my past that, that people should have called me on and didn't, you know, hopefully not too many of them, but, um, yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't see a lot of that in contact. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I would think that contact would not generally attract those kind of peoples because of the nature of what contact is. Yeah. Um, it's sort of like a dance class. I mean, you know, I know men who have signed up for dance classes because the dance classes had a lot of women. Mm, yeah. Uh, but, um, but, you know, once you're in a dance class and you're working your ass off, then, you know, <laughs> it's like you either, you're either dancing to dance or you're, or you're not, you know, in, the, in which case you probably are not going to stick around. So. Um, besides, like, if somebody asked you to play a role, like in, I don't know, confronting somebody or something, do you, do you see yourself as playing other, any other roles in influencing? CI spaces to be safer? And if so, how? Um, not, uh, well, like I said, I mean, this is all sort of historical, you know, um, yeah. and uh, I mean, hopefully by my presence, I am presenting a certain sort of model for yeah. how things operate. Uh, but, um, it's not, it's never been an explicit thing. <clears throat> um, with the, the communities you were a part of, like, did you notice them having any sort of, um, or working toward making the space safer for, for everybody in terms of like guidelines or? Uh, not in a real overt way. Sure. Certainly not around. <clears throat> I mean, you know, your standard guidelines about just being, you know, being safe, you know, and knowing where your limits are and, uh, and being able to walk away, uh, and take care of yourself and ask for support, uh, and all those sort of kind of fundamental things, but, even then, most of those were not really explicitly presented. Yeah. It just depends on, you know, it depends on the context of the group. I mean, some, some classes are having, you know, there's a real format and in other, other situations, it's just a jam, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, so, uh, yeah. Or a party. Yeah. Were you ever aware of any like issues that arose in a space you were in or community you were in? Um, any and, what arose? Like, like uh, issues, like of safety or anything. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, um, I mean, I was engaged in discussions with people around those yeah. sorts of things, and you know, some they weren't necessarily. I'm sure there were whole group discussions at some point in one context or another, but uh, it might not have been necessarily, you know, contact improv sort of thing. Mm. I don't know. I mean, I've done a lot of different, <laughs> done, a lot of, done a lot of contact over the years in a lot of different scenarios, and, um, you know, so it's kind of hard to say, but um, certainly people do talk about that stuff. It's maybe more talked about now than it used to be. But again, I haven't really, you know, I haven't danced for a few years. As of, you know, it's probably the last time I was regularly dancing was probably, I don't know, 10 years ago or something like that. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> um, but, uh, so maybe there is, you know, the contact world is more apt to have sorts of basic understandings presented at some point, but that has not been my experience per se. You know. um, yeah. Um, so this is the last section that we're going into. Um, and it's kind of just some broad 
questions about potentials within CI and, and outside of CI. Um, and they're pretty broad questions, but do you see any potential for, for CI addressing gender and sexuality outside of CI? And if so, how, and if not, why? Well, I mean, I think it does just by its existence. Sure. Yeah. Address those issues to some extent. Um, whether that really translates to a greater audience is hard to know. I mean, it's contact is, you yeah. know, has never been a very widespread phenomenon. I don't know how many people do it now in the world, but I mean, it's uh, still, I mean, it seems to be around, you know, I mean, there's pretty much contact in most large cities, but, um, but uh, there's no, I mean, I'd be interested in that. And maybe, you know, if there's some sort of the number of people who are actually doing contact, you know, I mean, it used to be the contact quarterly had a whole, yeah. you know, international listing of the various jams that were taking place. Um, but I don't know that anybody's taking down any numbers as to how many people that is. Yeah. You know, certainly, um, Ideally, you know, contact could contribute to a revolution. <laughs> yeah. And maybe it already has, you know. Um, so, uh, but it's not very widespread, although I think it could be a, you know, force for good in the world. Um, I think it's... Uh, you know, it's kind of, it, it's, uh, it's a fascinating thing in terms of how people's relationship to touch in general. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, there are a lot of people out there who have an aversion to touch of any sort. And, yeah. um, part of that is trauma based and part of it is just their inclination, you know, or, uh, so, um, I mean, I would not want to force anybody to do contact, but on the other hand, it would be, uh, great for there to be a, you know, greater awareness of what touch entails. Sure. Yeah. And to the extent that contact could contribute to that. I'm all for it. Yeah. Um, it's interesting, like, you're asking about how many people are doing contact. I was, another person I interviewed had mentioned, and then they'd been dancing contact for maybe 30 years or so, so a long time. And, um, they mentioned, like, within the last five years, they felt like, at least in their experience, there'd been a large influx of new people. Um, which he had some views about that, like <laughs> kind of like, cause he was a like trained ballet and that's how he went into uh -huh. And he was noticing that a lot of the new people are coming from like less professional backgrounds and more uh -huh. like the ecstatic dance kind of world. Uh -huh. um, and then that people maybe coming from that world have a different conception of like the sexualization of the body in uh -huh. cases. So he's saying that brought in a lot of more of those issues. More sexuality. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I don't, again, you know, um, <clears throat> that's an interesting perspective, uh, you know, and like I said, I kind of, I'm not necessarily interested in dancing with people who are really unfamiliar with contact. I mean, yeah. I don't mind teaching people, but if I'm just going to be dancing, I'd rather dance with somebody that has, you know, has some understanding of how things move, you know? Yeah. Uh, and, but I've done a lot of ecstatic dance too. And yeah. I don't necessarily think of ecstatic dance as being, a highly sexual thing. 